Moin und Glück auf! Recently I built something for a friend of mine where some simple engraving would be a nice add-on. I recorded all of my steps and after the piece turned out quite well I thought it might be worth sharing with you. So this part of engraving with Inkscape tutorial shows the process of a first test engraving wood using a 3D printer and a Dremel. I will link all my other videos for like installation of G-code tools, plugin for Inkscape and some basic setup and useful G-code basics. Here I'm using a flexible spindle shaft attached to a Dremel tool. This keeps the weight on the print platform low and the spindle is adapted to the print platform with some sort of adapter I built. The plans are attached. First thing for me was to align the workpiece. In my case, uh, it's a flat piece of wood and align it parallel to the X axis of my print bed. It's kept in place by some sort of double sided tape. And then I need to find the Z coordinate of the surface height of the workpiece as a reference. I home my printer bed and then I will start slowly moving it down until the tool head is about one millimeter above the workpiece. Do this very carefully because there's no limit switches that will prevent your your um, Dremel tool to just dive into the platform. So that's the Z reference. And then I need to get the X and Y coordinates of my reference point. For that I will move the printhead to the low Y side and the lower X direction. This is then my orientation point. So to simplify the process in Inkscape, I already prepared a template for my engravings with default tool sets um, in G-code being cone. This matches the Dremel tool using a 1.6 millimeter ball head engraver bit. And I use a rather slow feed rate of 200 with a Z with a C stepping of 0.1 millimeter. The orientation point control um, the final cutting depth which is one millimeter in my case. Since um, this is the first engraving on this setup, I tested my final design just with one of the pieces I'd like to engrave later on and separate it from the rest. Then I created um, a shape that resembles my workpiece and it's 120 millimeter by 60 millimeter, which I can just add in here and the uh, X and Y coordinates of that piece that we measured earlier. Um, I noted them down and select them to get the left corner, lower left corner exactly to that orientation point. In Inkscape displays the cursor coordinates as well in the lower right corner and this is quite handy for me to compare printer and drawing coordinates later on. Now you have to select the thing you want to uh, generate G-codes from select extensions, G-code tools, path to G-code. You pick a file name and specify your output folder. Then you set the surface height to your measured C reference and I usually go one millimeter below to compensate my offset for finding the reference point. Now only thing left is to hit apply and to generate the tool path. This also creates a G-code file in your defined work folder. In my case, I always like to check if the code is some sort of sane. So I go through, checkpoint one is the travel height. It should be above the workpiece. Then I check that first engraving uh, depth should match my uh, Z reference. So then you're ready to start engraving actually. Unfortunately, I missed the first seconds of cutting, but they went actually quite smooth. I had little vibrations, nothing too bad, and there was actually no major fuck up in the whole setup. The double sided tape um, is easy removable from the blue scotch tape, but held the piece quite strong in place. So that's really a good choice here. And on a longer engraving, you might check that the uh, PLA printed adapter for the Dremel shaft doesn't get like too warm, um, otherwise it might get loose. 
It should be clear that you can just do some lightweight engraving with this setup. But still, it's another tool in your toolbox and it's always fun to try new things, right? So if you enjoyed the video and it was helpful for you, give me a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Ciao!